Haleluya. 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 Let's thank God this morning. Everybody in your own words. The Lord is going to help you tonight. He's going to help you. He's going to answer your prayer. Father, we thank you. We are here in your presence. When everyone is in your presence, all is environment change. Those who are sick, when they come in your presence, they get healed. Those who have problems, when they come in your problem, in your presence, they get well. Father, we believe you are in your presence. Because you said when two us have met in your name. And they agree and they agree in anything. You are already in their midst. Today we are agreeing together that you are going to receive your word. Welcome in our midst and do the greater things. We bless your holy name and we say thank you. In your mighty name we pray and believe. Hallelujah. 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 You can get seated. Tell your neighbor that you are welcome. And you have to be expectant. Every time you come in the presence of God, expect something. Hallelujah. 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 When you are in the presence of God, expect something to happen. One day, I was there in a mountain there in Bukora. They, they have called me for burial. And I was reaching there, I was only a person conducting the burial ceremony. That, what, that person was supposed to be buried by religious men. But they said his mother has not been cooperative to us. We, we are not going to bury her, her, her daughter. So reaching there, I was alone. I've never seen a bad burial like that one. But at the end of the time, after the burying, I had a certain person I had a certain person. He was calling. He was, he was saying that you've seen your, for yourself. That I want all women to find me the other side. I knew that he's going to kill the ghost. Ghost. And I also decided that whoever he is, let him find me in the other room. <laughs> Yes, that's him. Amen. I, I, I got a, a big congregation there. And I also was praying for people who are sick. God was there. I was leaning against the person. I was leaning against the person. The person was very small. I said, Amen. I didn't know that the lady could not walk. He had a problem of, of legs for two years. And I, want, I was not praying specifically to that person. 
because the, because the, the presence of God was there and the lady was very expectant I heard him say, I heard her saying, Oh, Jesus has healed my leg. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you enter in the presence of God, expect something to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've not come alone. I've come with my wife. She's there. She can stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm blessed to have her. She has been my blessing. And I think I've also been his, her blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have four children. And both of them are girls. Hallelujah. Amen. One has finished her studies. Another one is at the bachelor in the Chambogo University. He's taking a bachelor of agriculture. Another one is in St. Mary's. He's pursuing a, a doctorate. Uh, she is taking BCM combination. And she is also the head girl of St. Mary's. Hallelujah. Amen. Another one is in top class. Our miraculous girl. <laughs> Pray she can wait for, for Praise people. Praise <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. She is a miraculous. No we got her Tukamutunga. after 12 years. Ha ha ho emyaka 12 omushere. Hallelujah. Amen. We called him Nahabge. Tukamweta it is by his grace Nahabge precious. But um, she is called Nahabge precious. I called her the name Nahabge when she was six months in the in the womb. Nkamweta jizina Nahabge oyaba ine mnyes mukago munda. Whenever I went to the meeting, tatu zagamurterane. I could introduce her. Na mwanjuraga. As I was introducing others. Nkoku na nyanjuraga bandi. Oga ina mnyes mukaga munda. Yes. Because God gave me a name when she was still inside. When he gave me the name, I told the wife that I have had a name, Nahabwe. We could bother every time to Who is Nahabwe a boy? Is Nahabwe a girl? When to can to jang, Nahabwe no more John Ninga no Mishi. Every time he's on mobile money, she's on mobile money, my wife. Nakoram Bombay Romane. You could see both names to men and women. And then it gets confused. Who is inside? Is she a boy or a girl? Eventually she became a girl. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm blessed to have my bishop. bishop she seated here. God put me in her hands. Uh, since 2003. Hallelujah. When I got from the when I got out from the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Up to now I'm still with her. We are serving Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They give me a topic. It is in Romans chapter 12. Verse 1 and 2. 
verse 1 and 2. Akanyiriko kubanza na naka kabiri. Na hawe chobi shemwe nimbe shengeleza ahawe mbaba zaruhanga. Kumuhayo emibiriyanyu kuba ebitambo ebihurire ebiri kwera kandi ebiri kusimwa ruhanga niko kuhereza kwanyu oku mukshemeregwa kumuha kandi na nishawo ine yoro chiganya mba nshome Na habe cyo bishemwe ni mbeshengere zabwe mbabazarahanga kumuhaye imbiri yanyu kube bitambe bihurire ebiri kwera kandi ebiri kusimwa ruhanga niko kuhereza kwanyu ukumushemerire kumuha Haleluya Haleluya Ngumisamu ugwa kabiri kandi mutashwa nisibwa nabo businjo bo kureka muhindugwe basya abo kugarwa busya ombiteka teko dyanyu mubone kumanya je ebiruhanga konda uko biri birunji ebiri kusimwa kandi bishikire buzima haleluya haleluya verse number 2 there uri nyiriro gwa kabiraho the bible says do not be conformed to this world but be transformed transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God do not be conformed to this world but be transformed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we were one time in the world. We were one time in the world. The world people. And by God's grace, we came out. And we are translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. But then the Bible says, Do not be conformed. However you were once in the world, Do not be conformed. To this world, but be transformed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be transformed. You know, no manya. When you got born again, it was done on one day. Because your spirit was regenerated, and you became alive with Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was done in the twinkling of an eye. When you had the gospel and accepted the gospel after the Holy Spirit has, has convicted your heart, you got born again. It was on that day, you know that day. You know that day. For me, I know that day. It was done once. And it was finished. Your spirit was regenerated. He became alive. You know, after the fall of man, in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible says, God has told Adam that on the day you eat on the forbidden fruit, you will die. So who died was not the flesh, 
was not the soul. He, he was the spirit. Man, the spirit died. And the fact that God made all nations of the world from the blood of one man, Adam, Adam even us, who would not eat the, the forbidden fruit, we also died. Hallelujah. Because the time when eating the forbidden fruit, we were also with him. We were in his blood. One man sinned, the whole world. Hallelujah. So on the day when you confessed Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, your spirit came alive, was resurrected, and you became alive by the Spirit of God. And that was done once. Salvation of the spirit is done once. But the salvation of the soul is a gradual process. Man is the spirit. He lives in the body. He has a soul. So what we are talking about is the transformation. Soul. Not, the, the, not the, the, the transformation of the spirit. Because you are already alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you we all understand that. Now the Bible says you are born again. But you need to be transformed. And that transformation is done by the word of God. As you hear the word and meditate the word, it will shift from the mind, conscious mind and drops into your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So how do we get transformed? We are born again, yes. You can be a born again person, but still you are the thief. Hey. Mm. It is possible you may be a born again, but you're a fornicator. You are a born again who is also a fornicator. You are alive in the spirit, but your sorrow has not been transformed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But thank God, you are born again. You are in the hospital. The Holy Spirit is going to work on your life. And you are going to change. As long as you are willing to change, God is going to change your life. You cannot change yourself. You cannot transform yourself. It's God who does the work. The Bible says it is God who works on us and calls us to do and to win things of his purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you receive the Holy Spirit, you become alive. But the, the journey of transforming your mind, it is a day by day. That's why the Bible says we are being renewed in the knowledge to the image of the Creator. 
You are being renewed no, God, God, God. in knowledge oh, to the image of the Creator. Oh, you are coming from one glory no, to another glory. Oh, God, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From one glory. Oh, so let us look for that scripture. It is second, second Corinthians. Three, from, let's begin from 17. Katandichiro gikumi na mshanjo. Genu mukama waitu ni wamoyo. Kanda wamoyo wa mukamari ni wosinjeburi. Itwe twena kuturabe ni tuare kwechiti ni sacha mukama ahamisho gitu. Tuwa bankende begwamu. Oga hamisho gitu. Haguma hamisho gitu hata chwecherire. Tuguma ni tuhi nugua. Okshwane suganawe ni tu ni turuga omuchiti nisa okuza omuchiti nisa kani ne chikuchira ho Alleluia Alleluia We keep on transform ni tu gumetu kuhendo gua We go on transform tu gumezamu turu kuhendo gua That's what the Bible says Echo ncha Bible ni kugamba to the image of the Creator Okshwane sugana no muhanji it is a continuous work. No more So when you are still a fornicator, don't mind. As long as you are willing, God is going to renew your life. The Bible says, as long as you are thirsty and hungry of righteousness. God will satisfy you. Are you willing to change? God is going to change your life. On the day you think of coming out of a certain character. And you keep thinking coming out. God will meet you and help your life. That's why you should not judge. That's why you should not. The Bible says don't judge. Maybe you came out from, you were transformed from poverty. From, from stealing. But you are still a fornicator. But the problem is. When one is still in the hatred. His head neighbors. Is judging that one who is in, in fornication. But all are the same. That one who got delivered. And you got delivered first from that. But you are still in hatred. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So transformation is a gradual process. You are born again. Yes. Your spirit was saved. You are living. But there is a need of the salvation of the soul. We are talking of soul winners. You hear soul winning. They think soul winning is to pick people from outside. So, so winning is transformation of the mind. If you can make a person transformed, if you are the pastor, and you can make a person transformed. He is so transformed. Then you have so ruined him. That is the salvation of the mind. The salvation of the spirit was done once. When the Holy Spirit visited you and caused your spirit to regenerate it. 
That's what the Bible says. So Bible We were dead. But we are made alive with Christ. And therefore we are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Who is seated with Christ in the heavenly places? Is your spirit. Is your spirit. Your mind is is still here. Your mind, you can put it where you want. But your spirit was raised with Christ and seated with him in the heavenly realm. That's where you are. Spiritually, you are there. And Corinthians is telling us. Also, put your mind there. Colossians is telling us your spirit is there. You need to put your mind there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your mind has to follow your spirit. Your spirit is seated with Christ. But your mind is still on us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now what we are talking about, we are pouring your mind to follow the spirit. And you both of you, a human being, Sit with Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think you have understood. Now the Bible says, put your minds up where Christ is seated. That is a transformation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Hati. how is the transformation done? Transformation is to change things into another shape. Converting into another shape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is transformation. So how is it done? It is a process. It is a process. The Bible says one way is by renewing of your mind. One time one day you were in the world. Moving by the course of the world. But now you are in the kingdom of God. There is a way how the kingdom of God goes. And there is a way how the kingdom of the world goes. Take, Take an example. The Bible says. If you want to increase. Lose what you have. Lose it. If you want to multiply. Lose what you have. And receive. The multiplication. The Bible says. It is more blessed to give. Than to receive. So which means. When you are giving. In the kingdom of God. You are receiving. But the kingdom of the world. When you are giving out. You are losing. The contrary. You are losing. But the kingdom of God. We are receiving. In most cases when I get problems. Financial problems. I start giving out money. 
When I have a financial crisis, I know what I need to do. I begin to give. I begin to give. And as I give, I receive. And as I give, I receive. Because when you give, you receive. In the kingdom of God. Accumulation. Accumulation in the kingdom of God is by giving. But accumulation in the kingdom of God is by holding what you have. There is one person who holds what he should give. He holds it. And he becomes poor. 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 But there is another one. With two hands. With two hands. And he gain, but and he gains riches. He increases. So to, to get into that knowledge, you have to be transformed. That's another knowledge that you have to be in your mind. That's another knowledge that you have to take. So whenever you hear the word, when you want to be transformed, do not allow the enemy to take it. Because you are going to be transformed by renewal of your mind. So every time the message is sent, it is coming to renew your mind. It is coming to give you understanding of the kingdom of God. It is creating in you the kingdom mentality. When the word comes, the enemy knows. The enemy knows. That this word has come to help that man. Hallelujah. Jesus teaches yes, no, yes, that there is a, the enemy comes yes, and take it immediately when it has been released. And you find a believer you said hey, the man has preached and you are asking him what has he preached he has preached about faith and yet you have not spoken about faith what has been released to help your mind the enemy has taken it you become forgetful very soon a forgetful person he cannot be transformed. You must know what they taught yesterday. You must have what they taught the other day. And you must have what I'm teaching you now. Because when you have it and keep it in your, in your conscious mind Those who study psychology they know how the, the story is made the, the, the soul has the, the part of the soul has the part which is called conscious conscious brain so whenever you you send a message. It runs in the subconscious mind. Enter the store. But now, it is your responsibility to meditate that word. To give time in that word. And you think about the word. Think about the word. As the Bible says. In the 
the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse number 8, that this book of the law, I have given you meditate it day and night. This word you have heard. It's in your mind. Oh, we come on, take a take a yawa. Day and night. Oh, we take a take a hechero no mshana. Sing about it. Oh, we take a take a. Sing about it. Oh, garuko we take a take a. Sing about it. Oh, shuba we take a take a. As you sing about it, kanda we take a take a. It will drop in your subconscious mind, which is a heart. Kanda we take a. Oh, muti magwen prisinga na yawa. When the word. In your heart, which is the subconscious mind, it will automatically make you ask talks. So when you meditate, the word, the door of subconscious mind, is open, and the word drops there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when the door ends, when the word ends in your heart, when it enters there, it will make you as the talks. And that is transformation. It will change your life. That's why David said, I cannot sin against my God because I have hidden his word in my heart. When the word of God is inside your heart, you will follow as commands. Because as man sinks in his heart, so he becomes, so he talks, so he moves. So whenever the message comes, keep it in your mind. Meditate it a day and night. It will drop inside you. And as the heart is full, the mouth will speak. Where your heart is, the leg will be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the problem is maybe with us who teach the word we don't get you prepared to receive the word. Maybe it is with you the receptant. When you hear the word you don't take it carefully. You just take it as usual. And the Bible says, our life live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. So if you want to be transformed, keep the word meditate it it will change your life and you become a fertile ground and hallelujah hallelujah the fertile ground when the seed drops there it keeps the root deep you get Deep rooted. Because the word is in the heart. It's not in the mind. People have many words in the mind. They are not in the heart. When you ask him to speak, man, he can even explain the Bible from Genesis to the He's just storing the word in the mind. 
And they are no use of his life. Let me tell you, religious people have words in their minds. But they are not in their heart. When the word steps in your heart, you get transformed. Hallelujah. One of these days, there is going to be a shake. A shake will shake your life. Oh, the one that has in the mind. They will drop in the heart. A shake is going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a shake that comes in you. There is a situation that will come in your life. That will drive the word of God into your heart. That's why Paul said, I, I do not lose hope. Though my being destroyed, destroyed. But my inward man is being renewed by day. Sometimes God touches outside, your outside, to make the inside. When he touches, and the button will make you respond to the word of God. So my outward man is being destroyed. Yeah, good. So my outward man is being perishing. The inward man is being renewed day by day. Do not despise the situation you are passing through. It has a good purpose for your life. Let me tell Just you are seeing the outside. I mean to be Outside the things are going wrong. There is crisis outside. You don't know what is happening. You think you are the sinful part in the world. God is making you. Maybe he's making a fisher of men from a fish of fish. Making God makes. Hallelujah. He told Peter, I will make you a fish of men. When God is making you, you don't understand what is happening. When God is making you a fish of men, you cannot understand the situation. He's transforming you from being a fish of fish into being a fish of men. Situations come. Situations come. You pray about it. 
You pray about it. You pray about it. But they don't come out. You fast. Or in vain. And God is just saying, I'm with you. Don't mind. Even though you pass through the fire, I will be with you. Even though you pass through the water, He is just telling you that. I am with you. I am with you in the fire. I am with you in the prison. Can you imagine God to be with you in the prison? And he's turning you from being you, from being a, a houseboy into a state minister. And he's saying to Joseph, we're going to be in the prison but I'm going to be with you. The outside man is destroyed but the inner man, man is being renewed day by day. That's why we call our ministry inward. Inward man. God deals with inward man. By the outside element. They are raising against you. What is that your business press? Things are failing. Your husband is becoming a problem. Your children are becoming a problem. God is making. Maybe the fisher of men. There is the word which John the Baptist said. He said, I'm baptizing you with water. But someone greater than me. That is it. Hmm? It is in Matthew, Matthew 3, 11. That I'm baptizing you with water. But somebody greater than me is going to baptize you with the spirit and fire. Those two events, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the baptism of fire. The Bible says do not be surprised by the test of fire by the test of fire that is going to come on your life and you think there is something that has embarrassed you. Be glad because you are sharing the same suffering with Jesus Christ. And you will share with him his glory. The baptism of fire is Transform you. You know. No manya. When you come from the world, you come with a nature. With no, the no Bible calls a sinful nature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That sinful nature. It is obvious on everybody. So when God wants to take away that nature, 
He uses fire. That fire is intended to burn all sinful nature and you become pure like God and cities. Malachi chapter 3 verse 3. We are talking transformation by fire. Transformation by fire. We have finished by word. Now we are going by fire. You are not going to survive. Because God does not want you to die with sinners outside there. He wants you to be in heaven. So you cannot lose him. He will sit as a refiner and purify you. Eh? Okay, Hallelujah. He will sit like a refiner. Who is that? Agasta Mankogwe or Shemeza, you know who is that? Or a coromri Mogok Shemeza. He will sit like a refiner, he will baptize you with fire. Agasta Mankori Kushemeza, a covatizan anomuro. As he purifies silver and gold, Goku as Shemeza Feza Nezabu, so he will purify. The sons of Rev. Benerevi. Who are the sons of Rev? Hati Benerevi Nibaha. The priests. Abanyamugwa. And who are the priests now? Kanda hata Abanyamugwa Nibaha. All born again. Ababa Juni. Because the Bible calls us. Akwa Bibri Netweta. The priests. The royal priests. Abanyamugwa. Abobu Kama. So we are the sons of Rev. So, Jesus Christ, yes, Christ, he will sit like a refiner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Purify your life with fire. When you read, there, there is a scripture I read. It is a, in Isaiah chapter. 48 verse 10. Isaiah Anana Manana. It talks about the fantasy of affliction. Ni Chigamba at Kumichokubona when it's fantasy of what? It's Kumichenchi. Instead of fire, it's Kosibomuro. Affliction. Chokubona when it's Siva. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fantasy of suffering, it's Kumichokubona Bona. The fathers of suffering. And the Bible says. Romans 8 verse uh, 18. That the suffering you have today. The suffering you are facing today. Is not compared. To the glory that is going to be revealed. There is a glory that is going to be revealed after the suffering. There is a glory that is going to be revealed after the suffering. I count this as a glory. To be before you, I count it as a glory. May I tell you why I passed? Rwanda. The suffering you have today is not comparable to the glory that is going to be revealed 
to be revealed. You are suffering. Do you know how to overcome suffering? Do you know how to enjoy our suffering? Overcome it like Jesus. The Bible says he despised the suffering on the cross because of the joy that was put before him. He knew what is going to be after the suffering. He knew that he's going to be the king of kings after the suffering. He knew that he will have authority in heaven on earth and under the earth after the suffering. Therefore, for that matter. He was this he was suffering but he despised it. He knew the end after the suffering. He knew the result of the suffering. Suffering produces good things. Hallelujah. 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 Time is getting me, but I'm finishing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whatever you are passing through, whatever you are going through, you are going through indeed. And there is a glory before it. And the Bible says that it is for a short time. Today you may come out of it. Tomorrow you may come out of it. It is for a short time. Whatever you are in now, the day is coming, you will come out with something. You will come out with the patience. You will come out with joy. You will come out when you come out. You will be on the table rejoicing, eating with your enemies. The Bible says Joseph passed through the sufferings and that kind of suffering was brought by the